I had trouble sleeping last night because I was so excited to come into my office and film this video. I published a blog post yesterday about how bloggers can use ChatGPT in their content creating process. And the second I published it, I decided I'm gonna make that a video because I think a lot of people will enjoy this topic. ChatGPT is an amazing new AI writing program that's currently free as it's in beta. It won't be free forever, so definitely get in while you can. We will all be paying for it sooner or later, I'm sure. But please, do me a favor and let me know in the comments if you are interested in this type of content because I have a lot more about ChatGPT that I can share. So let me know down in the comments if you want more of this and I'll focus on that. But let's get into my computer and start with prompt number one, which is going to help us find topic and keyword ideas for our blog posts. I do have to start with a slight buzzkill. You will need to have a ChatGPT account and right now they seem to be at capacity. Definitely go and try to sign up, see if there's some sort of wait list. But as I'm making this in late December of 2022, they appear to be completely loaded. And even those of us that have access are seeing server outages. People are obsessed with this and it's getting more and more popular every single day. So at least try to sign up to see what happens, see if you can get on a waiting list. But once you do have an account, it'll look something like this. I have it in dark mode because I think that looks sweet. I'm gonna use the same examples that I used in the blog post. So if you want to follow along with that, click the link down below in the description. It'll take you to the blog post version of this video. Let's start by asking ChatGPT to give us some keyword ideas. So in this example, I am in the cat niche and I want some keywords that I can target that are related to cats. It's gonna give me at least 10. It's often given me a lot more. This is what I got. And let's say that I like number 11 about cat insurance. I can ask for some blog topics related to that. Now, once we have a topic that we want, we can ask ChatGPT to create a good title for us. So I actually used it on this blog post. I said, create a blog title for 10 ways bloggers can use ChatGPT. And it gave me a whole bunch of really nice titles. What I was really impressed by was the quality of the titles. I ran them through Headline Studio, which is a premium tool for creating great subjects and headlines for blog posts. And these all scored really, really well. Next, we can use ChatGPT to get inspiration ideas for thumbnail designs. I asked it, give me a thumbnail idea for a blog titled ChatGPT Magic, 10 surprising ways bloggers can use it to their advantage. And then it gave me this. For a blog post, ChatGPT Magic, 10 surprising ways bloggers can use it to their advantage. One potential thumbnail idea could be an image of a magician's hat with a computer cursor pointing to the hat as if it was pulling out a rabbit, or in this case, a ChatGPT logo. The thumbnail could also include the title of the blog post overlaid on the image. The visual could symbolize the idea that ChatGPT is a powerful tool that can help bloggers achieve magic-like results in their content creation and promotional efforts. I went over to Canva and put this together, and this is what it looked like. I am happy with it. Next, write intros and conclusions with ChatGPT. Before I get into this, please know that Google does not love AI generated blog posts. Using bits and pieces is okay, but you should always rewrite things and don't make your blog post entirely AI generated. And a conclusion or an introduction is okay, but you still will want to rephrase them a little bit. And also just make sure that they're accurate. A lot of the times the stuff that comes out will not be correct. You cannot assume that just because a computer made it, that it's right. Uh, things like facts and dates and anything after 2021 are gonna be problematic uh, when using ChatGPT. So don't write your entire post with AI. If you're gonna use intros and conclusions, make sure that you uh, have a nice balance of your own text and their text, okay? So you've been warned. Do not get lazy, you still need to do the work to make this work. But sticking with the example of this blog post, I said, create an introduction for a blog post titled ChatGPT Magic, 10 amazing ways bloggers can use it to their advantage. And then it gave me this, not gonna read it. You will notice that I did not use that verbatim because like I said, you need to edit it. I use this as an inspiration. I like to have AI kind of as a tool for fighting writer's block and giving me some ideas on ways to go not as a perfect replacement for actually writing the content. Another way to do this, instead of just saying, write an introduction or a conclusion from this title, is you could actually paste the entire body of the post after you've written it and say, create an introduction for this blog post. That will give it a little bit more context and the intro or conclusion will be a little bit better. So you can always paste your entire text body inside of ChatGPT and it will give you better output. Next, we can use ChatGPT to create outlines for our blog posts. These would be good ideas for your H2s, H3s. So I asked it to 
create an outline for blog post titled ChatGPT Magic, 10 Amazing Ways Bloggers Can Use It to Their Advantage, and this is what it gave me. Very comprehensive. Again, don't copy this verbatim, but this is something that you could use a little bit more directly without it being an AI issue. Next, we can convert YouTube videos to blog posts. All we need is the transcript. Just paste the transcript into ChatGPT and say convert this into a blog post format. Something along those lines should do the trick. How you get the transcripts is up to you. You can use a tool like Rev. There's also a free extension that I'm using now that I will link to down in the description. Next, we can use ChatGPT to proofread or edit any text that we want. It's very straightforward. I'm not gonna spend a bunch of time in it. Just put something like proofread this text, paste the text, and there you're good to go. Next, we can use ChatGPT to create stuff that actually promotes our new blog posts. Here I asked it to create a promotional email for the blog post that we're writing right now, and it gave me this. I don't love the tone of this email. It's not really sounding like me. So in tip number 10, I'll show you how you can change that. We can also do things like tweets. So here I told it to create a tweet promoting the blog post and use relevant hashtags. This is what it gave me. I can also ask it to create a good subject line for me. So I did the same thing here and it gave me this. Next, we can use ChatGPT to create WordPress schema. If you have questions and answers, you can format those in a way that you can inject them into your blog post so that they show up in search results properly. I still prefer using a plugin for this, but if you manually create schema, this is something that could save you a lot of time. Last but not least, the rephrase. Going back to the email that I said was in a tone that I didn't really love, I can just paste that and say, make this email sound more casual. I could say, make it sound more formal, make it sound funny, make it sound like Mr. T wrote it. Seriously, you can do that. Really cool feature, go check it out. All right, that's gonna do it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, please let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed this type of video and you want me to do more stuff about ChatGPT. If you want to learn pretty much everything that I think is important about affiliate marketing, go on Amazon and check out my book, Evergreen Affiliate Marketing. It's available in print, Kindle, and Audible. Until next time, see ya.